Hello, hello. We're going to do 233 and 234. This is what they look like. Let's do it. A physician believes that exer exercise habits of East Coast adults may be different than the habits of West Coast adults. So let me read that question again, because that's really what this question is all about, is that first sentence. The physician believes that the exercise habits of the East Coast adults are something different than the exercise habits of the West Coast. So that sounds a whole lot like a hunch. We should assume they're the same And then the physician believes that there's something different. And so this is called a two-sided test. I'm not seeing a direction. I, I know that a lot of people think maybe people on the West Coast are more concerned about their looks. Maybe they work out more. But the people on the East Coast, like the New Yorkers, are pretty neurotic too. So again, who knows what this physician has to base his hunch, but he believes that they're different. So it says, to study this, she gathers the information on the number of hours they work per week in a random sample, and they take East Coast and they take West Coast. Which of the following would be appropriate for the null hypothesis? So this one is the null hypothesis, and this is the alternate hypothesis. So as I'm reading through here, I'm really just looking for the words that capture this, that say the same thing. So... A and B say the average number of hours exercised per week for East Coast is the same or is different from the average number that works. So the ones, them being the same, this would be the H sub O. This is um, in words. And this is our H sub A. So we just have to make sure, did they ask for the H sub O or the H sub A? And yes, in fact, they asked for the null hypothesis. So that is the H sub O. So we're gonna pick B. All right, now let's look at 234. For a roll of a fair dice, each outcome, one, two, three, four, five, or six is equally likely. So we know that from um, our life experience that on a dice, it's a six-sided dice, and each side of the dice has um, different dots on it. And as long as it's a fair die, and they say it is, then each side has an equal chance of being landed on. And since there's six sides, each side has a probability of one sixth. Now it says a red die, so probably just the colors are just for we can, for us to keep them uh, apart. A red die and a green die are rolled at the same time and the difference of the outcome is red minus green. This is repeated many, many, many times, so we know that that is a very big number. What graph would represent those differences? So this graph is the difference. This graph is the difference. So we have to make sure we understand that. I'm graphing the difference between those amounts. So now, Anytime you roll two dice, I'm gonna put, this is my red die. I could get a one, two, three, four, five, or six. This is my all possible outcome chart. And this is to help us calculate odds, right? And then let's say this is my green. So it kind of looks like a multiplication table. This is my green die. And if I roll that, I could get a one, two, three, four, or five, or six. Now they said in the formula, take the red and subtract the green to get the difference. And then when you do that, go ahead and graph it. So we're gonna do that. One minus one, red minus green would be zero. Two minus two, zero. So notice everything here in the middle of the table would be zero because I got the same for red and green. Here, I got red, one for red, two for green, I'd get a negative one. And the same would happen here. I'd keep getting a negative one. Three is one less than four. Four is one less than five. You see the pattern here. Okay, now here, two minus one is one. So kind of the same pattern. Red, you got one more than green. And I think everybody notices the pattern. Four minus one is three. So the chart gets a little quicker to fill in.
And so the most likely outcome is actually zero. That happened six out of the 36 times. The number one happened five out of 36. This happened four out of 36. See the pattern here, three out of 36, two out of 36, one out of 36. And these, these uh, probabilities would be the same over here. And so that definitely looks like C. The most likely outcome would be zero. And the least likely outcomes would be these numbers five and negative five, five and negative five. So definitely that's our answer. Thanks for joining us.